Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Before we get into your mini reading here, I just wanted to let you guys know this is brand new as far as being off, being able to offer five minute zodiacs for every sign Monday through Friday. I just want to see how you guys are enjoying these, so please leave me a comment down below to see how you enjoy this or do you prefer longer readings? Do you prefer the shorter ones? Um, I don't know whether you, you guys are aware or not, but a lot of YouTube creators are experiencing a lot of income losses as well as subscribers and viewership just plummeting. And so in order to keep channels like this going, we definitely need the support from the community and for those who really enjoy our content. And I want to make sure that what you are watching on my channel is something you definitely enjoy and find value in. So I'd appreciate your comments. Let me know if you enjoy these five minute readings that I do Monday through Friday, or if you would prefer longer readings in between throughout the week. So I'm still trying to figure out what sort of schedule works best for the cumulative collective, I suppose. And of course, I will continue to do the channeled messages. Those seem to be pretty well received. And of course, first half of the month, second half of the month, I will continue to do the love forecasts with extended readings available on Patreon. So that's it for now. I just really wanted to get your feedback on these readings here. Um, of course, to be able to offer you guys readings that you do enjoy, but also to ensure that you know, I'm not busting my butt Monday through Friday doing readings for each Zodiac and really not seeing the numbers and the subscribership and viewerships going up, you know, to be able to find value in these for everybody. All right, guys, so that is it. Let's dive into your reading here. Thanks for tuning in. All right, Cancer, let's get into your reading here. General advice, as always, I'll be pulling from my Silhouettes deck, my Heavenly Hearts Oracle, and the Illuminated Star Tarot. What is the advice here for you this time for this timeless mini five cast? Let's grab some insight. For Cancer, angels and spirit guides, please. For this batch of readings, for some reason, there's been a lot of complicated situations popping up. Hopefully that won't be the case with Cancer, but we'll see. Obstacles. Okay, so we're bound to run into people, things, and circumstances that will get in the way and create challenges for us. As long as we tackle it together, we can handle anything. And that requires teamwork on your part as well as theirs. So whatever these obstacles represent, maybe right now you guys are dealing with it. Some of you guys could be in separation because they want to meet up. We've got this rendezvous card coming through. I need to see you. Let's meet up sometime. Maybe they really want to talk things through here as to whatever challenges and obstacles you guys are dealing with. Let's grab some words as to what they're thinking and feeling, Cancer, when it comes to you. Or what is it that they want to say to you? This universe has a plan for us to find our way back to each other. Ooh, look at that. I'm guided to pull one more. So they're just trusting that if this is truly meant to come back together, it will. But they, they want to meet up. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. I can't imagine my life without you here loving me. So they really love you. They care for you. They want to come back together with you all right cancer what else do we need to know what else someone from your past wants to come back and i swear that message has been popping up in my cancer readings for quite a few months someone from your past wants to return they still care for you they still love you they only have fond memories of the times that you guys have shared together and look at the card that came through two of cups they see you still as marriage material. They still see you as someone that they want to build a life around, a life partner. And if you're still just as invested in your heart space as this person is, if you're still open to the possibility of reconnecting, you know, maybe it's still possible. We do have the Hierophant here. Look at this commitment. Okay. And they could be a very spiritual person, but this could also be tied into a spiritual lesson for 
both of you perhaps you could be dealing with a taurus as well we've got your own water energy from the two of cups some of you guys could be connecting with another water sign they're telling you here that they're not afraid of putting in that hard work to be able to get over whatever these obstacles are but they're also acknowledging and realizing that through that hard work they know it's going to pay off but you guys have to be on the same page and this is what i like to call my wait and see card because more time is necessary to unfold to see how this is all going to play out divine feminine you might have cut your masculine out of your life though whatever those obstacles represented you're coming through as the queen of swords maybe you were single for a bit this could also be you like putting up your walls and boundaries around your masculine so maybe they hurt you maybe they said something or did something to hurt you or disappoint you we do have a star so some of you guys could be dealing with an aquarian this is wish fulfillment it's a beautiful energy this could be a love connection that's being revived and rejuvenated it's coming back to life somehow and maybe your person from the past is being given this illuminated path to follow in order to come back into your life they've gone through their awakening with that judgment card and I, I really do like to see the judgment card as an alarm clock. That's just how I see it. It's like somebody better listen to that alarm or it's just going to keep blaring, you know. And so I feel when it comes to your person, maybe they have gone through their awakening during this time apart from you. They've had the opportunity to look at their life, to look at how life has been without you. And it's been difficult. I feel they miss you. They still think about you. So I have a feeling here you might just hear from them. You know, again, I need to see you. Let's meet up sometime. And part of that meeting, part of that first discussion after having been apart for a while could be that they want forgiveness. They want to say that they're sorry for something that they've done or said. It could also be giving you the opportunity to say things to this person that you needed to say. All right, so I will leave it at that, guys. Hopefully this resonated. And if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. I'll see you next time. Take care.